I might have said this a couple of months ago, but the news is official now that uh, John Fatale will be facing off against Chris Billiam Smith or Gilberto Zordo Ramirez, the winner of that fight. I think that fight is on November 16th, and the winner of that fight will end up end up fighting uh, John Fatale either next year. You probably could see that on the um, – Fury and Joshua Carr, if they're still going to do it, they said they, they said they will be doing it. I know they had a date in the stadium set up for it already, so I know that's possible to happen. Especially if uh, Usyk wins the next fight. It's a good chance, you know what I'm saying? Usyk is a very good fighter right now. Probably just has his number, I don't know. But as far as this uh, Billy and Smith fight and uh, Ramirez possibly fighting on um, Avatar. I think that Ramirez, he's in a good position right now after moving up to kind of shock the world. Um, William Smith, he's a guy also who can kind of sneak in and feels like he's confident and more skilled than all the guys that I just named. And him and Avatar was looking to fight next, but since I seen Zerto Ramirez kind of take that fight, that was out of nowhere. I didn't really expect that to happen so fast, even though they were talking about it in March. But I guess that was when Turkey Alashik started getting more involved. And then Zerto, he kind of stepped away. And now he's um, dealing with uh, Turkey Alashik directly. And this is a good fight, man. I, I really like this fight. I think this is going to change a lot of things. I think Cruiserweight is going to be one of the next weight classes that's going to take over in the um, boxing world. I think it really is. It's too many guys around 175. That's kind of a lot stronger, probably at 200, a lot faster. You know, this generation of boxers, more guys, it's like around 200, more than it is heavyweight. That's why I try to explain to some people, like, it's certain heavyweights that can make 200 cruiserweight. But at heavyweight, they still an elite talent, so that can go on. Look at Zerto. He just moved up. Now he's at cruiserweight, dominating. He's actually stronger at cruiserweight. So he was basically just giving people good fights at, against Bilbo. He probably was a little drained. Well, I ain't going to say a little. He probably was a lot drained against uh, Bilbo. But he looked a lot faster against um, uh, Joe Smith. Junior and um, working with uh, Malik Scott recently. He's been doing a good job. But Billy and Smith, he's had some rest. I think he's had some time off. I forgot what his schedule was. I think it was either him or somebody else. I think it was Billy and Smith. He was saying that he wasn't trying to fight that early. That uh, the timeline Avatar was on. And I think it was like he fights every seven months. It's like all the time he fights every seven months. So his body kind of locked in on one schedule, which is kind of smart. It's kind of smart when you think about it. If that if that's the way you go about everything, you've been winning so far, fighting every seven months. I guess you don't want to switch it up, I guess. But uh, that's a very good fight, man. I, I think this is going to change a lot of things. I don't know. If, a lot of people say I'm tired of trying to go up to heavyweight. I don't know if he's big enough for heavyweight right now, to be honest with you. I think he's around 29. I don't know if he's big enough for uh, heavyweight right now. Heavyweight is a challenge. For him to go up to heavyweight right now, that's not a, uh, a easy ask. He can probably, because I don't think Jerry Anderson still is a big, big heavyweight. He's fought some br bridge weights recently, so... He's not a huge heavyweight, and we've seen how big Bacoli was compared to him. So I would say guys like around that size, Avatar could probably fight, but when it gets to like big Baby Miller size guys, it's going to take way more than like two fights to adjust. If you don't have a lot of amateur experience, like a guy like Usyk or something, it's going to take a long time to adjust. So I would like to see him at a uh, cruiserweight for a while. But that would be a good uh, option for him to fight these guys and try to unify, undisputed.
I know I seen something about, well, I'll keep that for later on, but I don't know if that'll happen. Right now, a lot of the boxers, they're not really thinking ahead no more because a lot of things have changed up so much. So it was talks of Usyk trying to go back to Cruiserweight, but now that the whole who will he fight next thing started to happen, I don't know what's going on as far as his mindset, but he's kind of on the same thing that Beer Beer on. Like, I'll just fight whoever in front of me right now, and I'll think about all that later on. And which is smart because then you have a whole bunch of reporters asking you questions about this fight, that fight, that fight. And then you just need to shut it down. Kind of like how Bitter BM did with Canelo. He was like, I don't know. In the back of his mind, he probably do want to take a fight like that. But he probably like, I don't want to talk about that for the next couple of weeks. So he probably just shut it down like that, which is smart. Very smart to do. He's probably been doing that all his career. That's probably not the first fighter he did that with. But with the Apatow fight, he was trying to get uh, Billy Smith next, though. I mean, they're fighting a month apart. Billy Smith could have made it work in my eyes, I felt like. But it is what it is. I mean, Ramirez is a hard fight, too. That ain't no easy fight. That's definitely not an easy fight. I think that's going to be, man, I probably think that's going to be one of the most entertaining fights in November. I think that's going to be the fight of the month. I think that's going to be the toughest fight. As far as style, everything, I think that's going to be the toughest fight. Zerto's last fight was good. Yeah, the last fight he had was good. But this this going to be a tough fight. And this for a unification? Yeah, this going to be tough. They're trying to uh, get undisputed and uh, cruise away. And they're close to doing it because the guy that has the WBC belt, forgot his name, um, he was supposed to fight Friday, but Dun King got sick, so that's not happening. But that all makes sense. I think Cruiserweight Division is going to be very much heated up soon. It's going to be a lot of fights going on.